the California primary is behind us, it's time to talk about what the massive group of Americans who are still feeling the burn are going to do. Bernie has made it clear that he will not concede and plans to stir some shit up at the Democratic convention in Philadelphia. And I'm not talking about the age-old argument about cheese whiz versus American cheese on a Philly cheesesteak. Obviously cheese whiz. I know a lot of people are torn on this. Some Sanders supporters say they will wait for the outcome of the Democratic National Convention. And some of you think that the Green Party's Dr. Jill Stein is a perfectly acceptable third-party candidate because she holds many similar policy positions as Sanders and doesn't represent the establishment that has openly dismissed you since day one for feeling the burn. And then there are those of you who would support this orange ass with a mouth. To all of those Bernie Sanders voters who have been left out in the cold by a rigged system of superdelegates, we welcome you with open arms. <laughs> I think those people are a little confused. But in the end of the day, I understand the frustration Sanders supporters have had with the establishment. I am also scared for the future of America under the rule of Hillary. <laughs> who has a track record of consistently siding with wealthy and the corporations, paired with a foreign policy that would give Dick Cheney a heart on so strong, he would have his 11th heart attack. But at least she's not Donald Trump, right? Maybe that should be Hillary's new campaign. Hillary, 2016, not Donald Trump. Hillary, if we mentioned we're not Donald Trump, but let's backtrack and talk about what Bernie has already accomplished in the primaries. For one thing, he's had a major impact on the terms of the debate. Thanks to Bernie, over 50% of millennial Democrats believe in the merits of democratic socialism. That's crazy. And also, thanks to Bernie, President Obama has reversed his position on bolstering social security. And even Hillary has moved to the left during the course of the primaries, adopting a number of stances more in line with Bernie's position. What? In my honest opinion, this is probably the most powerful indication of Bernie's success, since we know every stance Hillary takes is pre-calculated by a team of data analysts feeding her new policy positions, even when it's something as simple as, uh, go do the dab on Ellen, Hillary. You can sign a bill, yeah. and then you dab. <laughs> It'll do really well with the Latino vote or something, I don't know. Is it really unfair for more than 10 million voters who feel alienated by the Democratic Party to demand that their voices be heard by the party, even if their preferred candidate fell short of winning the nomination? If we so desperately need to unite to defeat the shitty 90s video game boss Donald Trump, then why shouldn't Hillary, the great compromiser, adopt some policy positions that resonate with Bernie supporters? Seriously. Otherwise, we're no different than the Republican Party where Paul Ryan openly admits that Trump is a racist and then still urges voters to vote for him. Claiming a person can't do the job because of their race is sort of like the textbook definition of a racist comment. Bernie Sanders' campaign has given voice to millions of Americans who are fed up with a corrupt system that benefits the few at the expense of the many. If Hillary Clinton wants Bernie supporters to back her, she's going to need to show that she's hearing those voices too. Otherwise there is a orange looming threat that could possibly bring about catastrophic destruction for the planet and not just America. <laughs>